Hello, tubers. It's your crazy British bloke here. Yeah? Let's see what we can get up to today, eh? Well, it's it's well, it's right windy here today, and I'm down at a secret location. Somebody told me that there's white squirrels. White squirrels. So I've come down to have a look, and uh, well, I can't see any at all. None. I think they're. Uh, well, it's windy as well. I think maybe they're at. They're, they're taking a the piss out of me. I don't know. Somebody sent me down here, but uh, but no, I can't see any. Can't see no white squirrels. Somebody's having a laugh, isn't they? Oh my God! A train. Going. <laughs> right, I'm down at uh, well, it's Gibraltar weekend market, but it's Forest City Supplies where I'm going, and uh, I've, got to, I've got to go in there and see a guy. There's uh, a couple of prices I want to get for some things, but I'll show you exactly what I'm doing when I get home. All right, so let's go and have a look. Right, I'm home now. Now let me show you what I wanted uh, them surveillance cameras for. We all know that I. Uh, parked my truck over here well it was probably I don't know a couple of weeks ago someone got in my truck it has got an alarm on it but they pried open the old window there and they got in it didn't take anything just took some change so what I want to do is I want to put one camera up there so it looks down on my truck up in the right up in the corner and I can see the backyard and then put one up on the side here or maybe right at the top, so uh, I can see my truck again and maybe see who comes to the front door. So really, I just need like two cameras. Now, I went in there to see them, and uh, they're saying, you know, for like 150 bucks, you can do some sort of setup, but, you know, that's only cheap stuff. I'd rather just have like a couple of really good cameras and uh, some better technology, but I don't know, I'll look into it a bit more, but that's why I went there anyhow. Well, tubers, I was watching the old TV the other night. I was watching that Storage Wars, and there was a couple of characters on there. Bought some stuff out of one of them storage containers, and they had some old pairs of jeans in there. They were Levi's. I know, you know, everybody likes the old Levi's, and uh, they had the red tag ones with a, I think they had the orange stitching, and they were saying that they were worth like, you know, three or four hundred bucks. But that got me thinking. I had an old pair of jeans upstairs that I brought from England. Let me show you them. Right, here they are. Now they're in really good condition. Didn't wear them that much. And they're actually, there it is, they're Soviet. That's like a you know, a really good tag that's stitched on there. And they've got all the, these like nickel buttons. And they've got the old button up fly here, like they used to have on the old Levi's. Um, great condition on the back here, look. It's got like a, a leather. Soviet thing. I don't know what what uh, actual make these ones were, but they're in they're in really really good shape. Really thick thick denim, yeah. Um, well, now <laughs> I bought these when I was like 20, so they're 30 years old. Now I don't know. I've not gone on the internet or had a look yet, but I'm gonna. Uh, if any of you know anything about you know second hand jeans like the old retro ones. I mean, 30, 30 year old pair of jeans, Soviets, they were a lot of money when I bought them. Must be worth some money now. Anyhow, I'm sure you'll let me know. So, I'm gonna go and have a look as well. <laughs> 